morning everyone it's been quite a while since i've done a vlog i think the last one was my travel vlog so i mean this is going to be very different because it's me lying around in my house during lockdowns so yeah it's gonna be a lockdown special vlog but yeah i am isolating alone i'm here by myself probably get out of bed and make a coffee actually i need to post to instagram first so if you don't follow me already Please go follow me. Oh, I'm trying to get a shower in before I do a workout with Jimmy via FaceTime. So this is our life now. But I don't know if I've got any hot water. I've got some. We have lift up, which means I can shower off my fake tan. And I don't need to go to the park looking like how I do right now. Say hello to the camera, Jimmy. Yeah, it looks shocking. No, you don't. You look fine. This is literally, this is our relationship now for, and probably for the foreseeable future. Do you want to do a workout? Yeah, do you want to? I kind of wanted to do yoga more than I wanted to do a workout, I'm not going to lie, but we can do, we can do a workout if you want to. I don't mind. I was pretty keen for a beer, right? Because <laughs> they've been, they been beers and they just put two shoulders of lamb on. No, you're doing either a workout or you're doing a fucking yoga with me, you don't text me in the middle. I would have stayed in bed later. Yeah. I saw your message when I jumped yeah. out of bed. Yeah, I'll do yoga, but when, you, when you're done, can we do it in my half now? I wouldn't have even got up early. I would have stayed in bed for at least like another hour. <laughs> but then I saw his message being like, oh, should we do a workout? Like, I want to do a workout. Like, like get up early so we can do a workout together. Because obviously, so Jimmy, basically, he's in Australia and he is nine hours ahead. And so we try and do our workouts together. So we'll do it when he finishes work at like six-ish. And like it really helps motivate us. And yeah, like I hate, I don't like working out without him because it doesn't motivate me in the same way. So oh, I wanna go, I wanna go have a beer. I'm like, no, no. Just some yoga shorts and a sports bra. It would also appear, if we look closely, that one of my lashes looks like it's coming off. Um, for you that don't follow me on Instagram yet, I have been wearing the Lashify la DIY lash extensions and I love them. They're actually amazing. Um, I'm going to do a full video and review. They're basically little lashes like this and you pull them off and they look like that. And then like there's a special bond and they last for like, they last for as long as you can kind of keep them on for, I guess. I had mine on for eight days last time, and I could have kept them on for longer, but then I had new ones arrive, and I was like, I want to try new ones. So, kids, got the bond. And then... There we go. On he goes, and then you just, like, fuse it, so I'm just gonna... Clamp it like that. Yeah. Okay, this one's going a little bit AWOL now, but that random lash is going to really annoy me. Hey. There we go. It's a little bit... It's just, uh, it still looks a bit weird, but okay. I'm going to put on some BB cream. This is an Aborian one. It's got SPF 20. I've not been wearing as much normal makeup as usual, but when I do, it always kind of freaks me out because I'm like, ooh. Like, this is heavy. This looks a lot. That'll do for now. Mmm. Gonna take my morning supplements for my skin. These, I'll link to them. I like. Mm. I spoke about them quite a bit before. They're the Skin Acumax by Advanced Nutrition Program. And they, honestly, <clears throat> wow, my voice is going. They've like saved my skin. My skin used to be like trash before. They're expensive and I buy mine. Like I occasionally get gifted by the brand, but like I'd spend the money on them. They're so worth it. Very balanced breakfast here. Starting the day with a brownie, a little mini brownie and an iced coffee. How was dinner? Got a tiny bit of lamb. They paid me out about being a sheep shagger and that's about it eh? why do you not know about that like kiwis is just like always get shit for it it's deep stretch total body yoga it's 45 minutes and 13 seconds what's up everyone welcome to yoga with adrian i'm adrian and where are you at and today we have an awesome deep stretch total body uh, yoga. 
Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Your shoulders nice and relaxed. You just grab here. Okay. The belly and open the chest. Pedal it out. I know. Feel she's nice. doing it out with Stretch through the backs of the legs. And see if you can the right knee all the way up and in. As you step your right foot up, lower your left knee down. Oh, look, this is a bit of my shit up. Fingertips don't come down. You can stay on the palms. Right toes stay turned out. She's kidding. She's kidding. You need to stretch by slowly. Uh, and then if you feel good, you're going to open the toes right to left. We're gonna slowly come into a little froggy variation here. So me and Jimmy are done with our yoga today. I'm terrible at yoga, like really bad. And I'm too nervous to go to classes. Not that I can anyway at the moment, but like I don't really like going to classes because I feel really, really crap. And sometimes I find like, I don't know, it's a bit too yogury for me, if you get what I mean. I really like the yoga with Adrian things because they're really good and there's loads of things for beginners so we have kind of been focusing on doing ones for like pain because we've been training a lot in the park so um yeah it's been painful we've been a bit in pain so um a bit like achy muscles and tightness so we've been focusing on that so in my opi post i'm gonna be holding a smoothie bowl i wanted an object to be holding so we could see my nails nicely and i'm obsessed with smoothie bowls at the minute I love them, they're so yummy. Um, so I am gonna make, I think, a salted caramel one today. This is like a largely banana based one. I didn't manage this banana really, like I only chucked it in the freezer not too long ago. So most of it is still quite mushy. So I put in dates, one and a half big juicy yummy dates. Um, I'm gonna put in some cashew butter couple of spoons of this cashew butter is like the most darn underrated of all the nut butters with some vanilla essence and some cinnamon i'm gonna pour some oatly in oatly is the best this is the finished product oh my god it's gonna be so good and this is the um absolute mess that i've left behind <laughs> So guys, I am just editing my pic. So I used to use Lightroom and I still do for editing my photos, but um, I've come across this app called Color Tone and it's really cool. I, I edit using that quite a bit, but it's really like crap and glitchy. It's just very, very slow. It takes a long time to load my pictures. So it's really quite annoying. Um, but when it does load, it is good. So it's a bit of a tough one. So Topshop turns out are doing 30% off denim at the minute, which is great. So I'm just doing some Instagram stories wearing some of my favorite denim pieces to shout about the promotion. Um, like obviously Topshop denim can be quite sp like pricey sometimes. So um, it's really good that they've got it discounted. <sighs> oh, I'm meant to be going for a workout in an hour, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been hit with a bit bout of um, dodgy tummy <laughs> so yeah basically i've got the shits really badly and i don't want to be out in the park and doing like squat jumps and shitting myself when i'm jumping into the air so yeah not good also just forgot as well that i made this mess made this mess earlier and i gotta tidy it up no i just got back from going on a really nice long walk around the park i didn't take my camera with me because I don't really know, there wasn't really much I could be like, oh, here's a flower and here's a tree. Anyway, I'm in a major predicament because uh, all I ate yesterday was pasta and all I ate pretty much the day before was pasta. I don't calorie count, I don't really stress too much about what I eat, I kind of eat what I want when I want, but I generally have a really healthy, balanced diet. And right now, I just really, really want to eat pizza. The place that I wanted to order pizza from is not open, so I'm being good and having a stir fry. I really didn't want to. I would so much rather have pizza. I might order it tonight. If the place that I want to order is open. I just have a craving, like such a craving. It's just hard to get out of my head. So I always bulk my stir fries out with bean sprouts, but I actually hate onions. 
So I find that I'm always having to like pick the onions out. It says it goes out of date today, but the peppers are just like real gross. Um, oh, uh, I don't like this. Cut my own cabbage and put my own cabbage in here instead. So I usually make my own sauce, but I was being lazy today. I'm using like a, a shop bought sauté. Add some soy sauce. Okay. This is what we're working with here, guys. Okay, yeah, it's actually really quite good. In about 10 minutes, I'm recording a new episode of my new podcast. I'm not sure if I featured it on a vlog yet or anything. It's called Private Message. I do it with Gemma Tolbert, who's like my one of my closest friends, also an influencer. And it's really, it's basically just quite fun sassy like we just kind of have a bit of like we talk about the kind of really female focused topics but also you know we've had a, we've had a guy on there who's given his male perspective on things so we've got lucy moon on the podcast today so i'm really excited to have her on because i really love her she's so nice the way that we're doing this is we basically four-way call between me the producer Gemma, and our guest if there's a guest on and we basically then just record our audios into our mics over there so you'll see how it's all done so basically then we just send it all to our producer just the audio and it just goes through to her and she chops and edits it the three different audio files and yeah just getting things ready and set up and yes yes i have ginger nuts for my tea mm. hey, but if everyone can wave apart from l because L's not, oh, there we go, there, yay! So that's the, um, that's the setup we have. No one can hear them, and that's really weird. Jem, you know what a glow up is? It's like when you're like, oh, like, you're like, you're like, you know, like, the glow, like, we've had, you look at pictures from, like, yourself from several years ago, like, no offense, I look at pictures of me from several years ago, and I think, wow, I've had, I've had a glow up since then, and it's like... And they'll also be sent some little goodies, oh, from my absolute babe, Amy. So she sent some things. What have we got here? We've got Bodega Bay, hard salsa apple, ginger, and acai berry. Yum. 4% alcohol, alcoholic sparkling water. Hello, this is a bit of me. Yum. CBD sparkling water. Ah, oh, yummy. <gasps> Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna work for a little bit longer and then it's like 20 past 7 So I'm gonna work until like 8 and then I'm gonna make dinner And then I'm gonna read a book. I finished my book last night So I'm gonna pick a new one to read. I've got a stock of a few So I'm gonna pick a new one to read and then I'm gonna read that for an hour to chill before I ring Jimmy at 9 And we have some like yoga. Also, I had one of those Bodega Bay drinks. It's the ginger apple ginger and pear <laughs> Um, it's very nice, very nice. Okay, for din-dins, I can't believe I just said din-dins, but for dinner, I'm going to make steak, sauce, my vegan friends. Um, steak and veggies, basically. <laughs> this is so lazy, I'm literally cutting it in the pan. I know, it ruins pans, this pan is ruined already. Probably from doing dumb shit like this. So I'm gonna roast up some veggies and then just have it with steak. Cause I can't go to the shop and the pizza place I wanted to order from wasn't delivering. Okay, I'm just doing my nighttime cleanse. So, oh, I left the tap running. Oops. Actually, I kind of need it running anyway. So I'm using. Oh my god, I just cut it off just as I bloody well dropped my toothbrush down the toilet. So my toothbrush is now washing away. It um it's a Sonicare one and it just tumbled. It just tumbled. It went bottom first, so it the, the head didn't really like go in us. Uh, it wasn't submerged, but still. It's not it's not ideal. Um anyway, this is this is what I'm using on my face. It's called um it's the cleanse X cleanse from ph formula you can't get this stuff anywhere you have to get like a consultation and get it prescribed to you so it's really good for acne and breakout i believe i've just done this to my toothbrush it's just disgusting and i'm going to use a little bit here here 
here and here that was way more than I meant to use and I'm just gonna smush it into my face it feels real good then we're gonna use the pH formula active formula so this is a retinol so it's really really good for things like acne scarring and also aging retinol is like the best thing for people who are concerned about aging so I'm just gonna rub this all in my skin oh, so nice and clean my skin's not bad at the minute, but it definitely could be better. I know that like my fake tan addiction is something that always is going to mean that I'm going to have to compromise how good my skin is, but oh well. Okay, no time to read my book tonight, which is sad. Well, not before yoga. I've got yoga in half an hour with Jimmy, so no time for that. I'm having dinner this late. I don't like having dinner this late. I know having sauces with steaks. Fillet steak is quite a controversial thing, but I mean, also the sauces I've chosen. So we've got Nando's Perrinet's hot version, but it's a great sauce, and Bullseye Original Barbecue. Now this barbecue sauce is so, so yummy. So yeah, I can't really wait any longer, so I'm gonna crack it out. Basically, always let it rest under foil or cling film or anything just because it just like makes it better there we go there's my dinner looks really boring but honestly the sauces will really bring it together and i'm sure it'll be delish morning babe are you excited for yoga oh when we're gonna do yoga Get up. Get up. My first little squish. I just think it's four. Taking a check in here to root down through the sit bones. So my sit bones are going to want to peel up here. Uh, but rather than let them peel up, I'm going to um, I'm really get into that hip. And then I can also use, and this might be a little hard to see, but. Okay, and that's me done for the day. It's like half nine, nine forty-five. So I'm gonna read my book and I am gonna go to sleep. Me and Jimmy finish our yoga, he's off to work for the day. And if you're wondering why I'm sleeping on a mattress on the floor and I don't have a bed, <laughs> it's because I sold my bed and I bought a new one, but the new one has not arrived yet. So yeah. Anyway. I'll see you guys for a new video very soon. I hope this hasn't been too boring. Um, yeah, take care. Waste all your breath. Oh.